what roadblocks are standing in our way of us actually starting to deliver some solutions and actually help reduce some of this housing crisis? We've got a convoluted planning system and everyone likes to point to the planning system being the root of all evil when it comes to stopping us build enough houses for Australians. It's probably less of an issue than this cultural uh, imperative that every Australian has to own a house. But really, I think what we're missing here is what we call the missing middle. We've built an awful lot of houses across wider patches of urban and suburban growth, which stretch into the, into the, over the horizon. The Southwest Corridor in Sydney uh, goes a long way, has very little amenity and has very little transport connection because we've been very uh, loath to build sensibly around amenity, connectivity, uh, utility, and indeed where you just have basic transport links that we've all enjoyed in Sydney for a long time. We've been very wary of, of densifying and micropolitics got in the way. 